Are you ready to turn your office into your guest bedroom and your guest bedroom into your office and make it look gorgeous and still be functional? This has been something I've been working on for the past probably seven months putting together. We have an office and a guest bedroom that we're trying to combine into one. Problem is we use this 90% of the time as an office and about 10% of the time as a guest bedroom. So we wanted to prioritize the office but still have it be functional as a guest bedroom. I was gonna do some whole big highly edited video and to be completely honest, it just felt more natural to do it as a walkthrough vlog and to be completely honest, I just talk too much. These are great ideas to do your guest bedroom, but also to do your office and keep it clean and functional. I really wanted to emphasize on the functional. I even went as far as to film this on just a random work day. I did not really go through and clean it. I just kind of picked a few things up, but honestly not really much at all. You're gonna see what I mean by that. I wanted to show you that even in the middle of a work day, it still looks clean and is able to be functional. Key word is functional. This is what it looks like when you first walk in. I wanted the colors to obviously be soft and then just play with some prints. The theme is definitely more natural, but I wanted it to have a little bit of a coastal feel. And as you can see in the details, I try to pull that in through pictures and art. Now on this side, we have the office setup. And then on this side, we have the guest bedroom half of it. I wanted to make sure I had a full body mirror in here, not because I take pictures in here, but because it helps to bounce the light off and make the room feel a little bit bigger. So we ended up going and mounting this one on the wall. And it just is the perfect little filler for here, as well as when guests come to stay, they're able to see their full outfit and have a full size mirror. And then turning around, we have the guest bedroom portion. I ended up getting this ottoman. I think this is so pretty. It's got a boucle material, which actually perfectly matches the pillows that are on our desk chairs. Did not really mean to do that, but it works perfectly. Somewhere to put drinks. And then as a guest bedroom, this can work as like the little nightstand. I have my rolling TV and tablet. I love to keep this in the office to roll this around whenever I need it. This couch pulls out into a queen size bed and I was on the market for the nicest, comfiest couch that also is the comfiest bed. This one was the first one that came up as like the best reviews and I will say 10 out of 10, this is very comfortable. We have slept on this and it is incredibly comfortable and I can pull it out myself. It's easy to set up and it works great and it folds into a queen size bed. So it is pretty large. Now on there, I just of course wanted to decorate it with a few pillows. So it comes with these pillows right here, these two and then those two. I added these ones. These are just like a nice linen material. I don't love the pillows. I just haven't found the pillows that I absolutely love yet. And I didn't really feel like waiting to show you this room was worth it for just the pillows. These are nice, but they don't match perfectly. And I'm not in love with them. I've got two throw blankets on here. These ones are just a really pretty pattern and texture. They're cozy with some fringe on the side. And I just have those draped over. Again, I don't really know how much I love like the whole throw blanket setup. This is just the easiest way. And I wanted to keep it real. So this is just how we've been making the couch lately. With the coastal decor theme, I wanted art that felt coastal. So this surfboard print, I felt like was just the perfect piece for that. And I feel like it just looks so cute when everything's all together. And all of my art that I've been getting is from this company. So I will obviously link everything down below if you wanna pick up anything yourself. Next to the couch, I've got the little rolling hospital desk here. This is what I use for my live streams and just as a table to roll when I wanna get work done at the couch. Everything is on this rug, which of course is ruggable. They're the only rugs that we have in the house. They're great because you can throw them into the washing machine. And this print I thought was really pretty with like the pink tones and a little bit of the blue. It felt like it matched the theme perfectly. And I love that I can just throw this into the washer when it needs to be cleaned. And for here, we have the coffee table. Now for the office, this is obviously a coffee table, perfect for drinks, but when guests come, it fits right under the windowsill and can be a little spot for people to put their bag and kind of like a little luggage rack, if you will. Love this color. I feel like it added a little bit of warmth and a little bit of a pop of something because we've got a bunch of neutrals going throughout and I wanted to carry the wood tones. This is a vase that looked like a seashell to me. I don't know, it just gave me like ocean vibes. And now that I'm looking at it like this, it reminds me of, you know, the Eras tour when they first come out. Those like, I don't know what they are, like the seashell things. 
kind of looks like that. But if this is a vase, I don't have anything inside of here, to be completely honest. I kind of just like it as art, and I don't know how to fill this. Like, I don't even know what I would put in here. If you have any recommendations, leave them down below because I will take them. It works as both an office because I can sit and get work done or a guest bedroom because I can pull it out and make it into a bed. In the middle, I did want to add a little chandelier. We had like a hookup. We don't actually use this, so there's no light bulbs in it, but it has like a sea glass texture to it, and I felt like it was so pretty, and the sea glass really, it's like a sea glass pearl mixture. It matches the coffee table and then the lightness with, again, the coastal feel. And panning right here, we have the two desks. So this one is mine, this one's my husband. My husband works out of the house, so this kind of is just a gaming setup for him and then this is my actual work desk they do match so we have the same exact desk and all of that stuff he just has a different monitor different keyboard and just some slightly different things but overall it's pretty much the same inside of his drawer is a little different I did already do an entire what's inside my desk I will have it here in one of the cards if you want to catch up on that and go in depth with some more office gadgets that will help you during your work day available on Amazon now leaning up I told you I did this completely just spur of the moment so I do have my treadmill right here. I normally roll it into the closet, but I am going to get on this right after I'm done filming it. So I just keep it there. A walking pad and a standing desk will forever be one of my biggest work from home life hacks to stay active and more productive. So I just leave that there. When I'm not on the treadmill though, this is the chair that I use. I love the barrel style chair. They're super comfy and they get more comfy as time goes on. And on both of these chairs, because they are matching, I put the boucle pillow that matches the ottoman that was next to the couch. It matched perfectly. All of the pillows also are removable covers. I don't purchase any pillows that I can't put into the washer. And I just kept a throw blanket on here, one to protect the chair, but also if you get cold, it's just nice to have a little throw blanket. My colors are very neutral and soft, but I do try to carry pattern and print and texture throughout. That's kind of what I like to do. On my desk, everything is pretty much still the same. This is the standing desk. I just added this little fan. I do get ready here in the morning, so this fan is great with setting spray. I did, however, add these legs to the desk. They just make them look more, they just make the standing desks look more official and like a really nice desk instead of just a standing desk. I don't love the look of standing desks. They look a little bit out of place to me, so these just made them look a little bit more put together. So we went ahead and got two sets of those for each of our desks. And then back here, we ended up building a shelf because the legs came back so far, you can kind of see this weird gap. So we ended up just building this shelf here. We don't really put anything on there. I've just got an extra candle back here, which actually, let me show you this candle. This candle smells incredible. This is the Mahogany Coconut from South Magnolia Candle Company. I believe they're based in South Carolina. You need to check them out. This smells so good. I can't wait to burn this, but it is a soy candle, which I love. They're the only candles that I will burn, but this smells like a tropical vacation, but like a little musky. It's my favorite fragrance combination ever. So check them out. They are small business, which I told you I was going to update you on cord management. This helps a ton. I've got a mess of cords down here, but because of the barrel chair, you really can't see it. So I'm going to touch up those, probably like push them back and do a little setup, but the legs, the chair, and the back it completely covers the cords. I did splurge and I finally got a frame TV. This one is like the oak frame around it was like, I don't know if they're worth it. I don't know if it's worth the hype. I'm here to say they are worth the hype. They are so fun. I love it. It's a smart TV. So this is the remote is a Samsung, just regular TV with your regular hookups, except you're able to select art that will not ruin your TV. I've seen so many people like put art up on a regular TV. You do not want to burn the image into your TV. So this one's designed to have an image up at all times, just showing a picture. And there is just one little cord the bottom, we're probably gonna cover it, but honestly, it's just not, I don't know if it's worth it. Let me know what you think, but I don't think it's worth it because I think you'll see a block more than the actual cord, it's super small. But I like this, and again, our desks were pushed back because of the legs, we put the shelf there. So now we can actually watch TV at our desks and we're not pushed up against the wall looking up at the TV. So it's kind of like a happy mistake that worked out in our favor. And for Noah's desk, he just has a little bit of a gaming setup. He's got his computer, his monitor, his keyboard, and just a few little 
gadgets that he needs for uh, gaming. I would tell you all about the gadgets, but to be quite honest, I don't really know that much about them. But we did add these lights to the bottom of the shelf. I think these are so fun. You can adjust the brightness. First, it's gonna match up with the camera settings, so you're gonna see the little wave. You don't see that in real life, obviously. But this has adjustable brightness, and it just adds this really cool backlit element to the office. And at night, this is like the perfect amount of light to be able to be in here and not have to turn on any big lights. We are a no big lights household. And then you just turn them off with the push of button. I was so excited to finally have this room finished so that way I could show you it. And I hope that you were able to grab something from this video or take some sort of tip. If you're struggling with putting together an office and a guest bedroom, if maybe you're limited on space, but you want it to be multiple rooms into one room, splitting the room in half and going step by step made it so much easier. And that's one of the tips that I have if you're trying to do something like this, start by just splitting the room in half and then figure out which side of the room need to be the biggest portion of the room. Like for example, for us, it was obviously the office. Coming up next, we're gonna be going through Amazon back to school gadgets that of course obviously double as office finds. So don't forget to subscribe so I can see you in the next video.